All right, it's 2 a.m., you're deep in a coding sprint. Coffee's in one hand, Stack Overflow open in one tab, ChatGPT in another, and GitHub Copilot throwing suggestions like it knows what's best for you. You're thinking, okay, React, I, I can make this work. But as you start piecing things together, you hit a wall. Do I grab a few libraries and duct tape this thing together, or do I go all in with something like Next.js to handle the heavy lifting? Automatic routing, server-side rendering, static site generation, it's like having a blueprint ready to go. Let's start with the basics. A library is a collection of reusable functions or tools that you call when needed. You decide when and how to use it. A framework, on the other hand, is a more rigid structure. It defines how your app should be organized and calls your code at specific points in the workflow. So which one is right for your project? Let's dig deeper. First, let's talk about libraries. At the core, a library is a set of pre-written code that you can use to handle specific tasks, like working with data or making API calls. A good way to think about it is like a toolbox. You pick out the tool you need for your job, and you're in control. Take Lodash as an example. Lodash is a popular JavaScript library that provides utility functions to make working with arrays, objects, and other data types easier. For example, you can use shuffle to randomly shuffle an array, or debounce to control how often a function is executed. You get the functionality without having to write the code yourself. Notice how Lodash doesn't force you into any structure. It's a toolbox you use when you need it. You control how to structure your app, and you decide when to use the library's functions. Now, let's talk about frameworks. Unlike libraries, a framework provides a predefined structure for your app. It comes with a set of conventions and rules, and you must build your code within those constraints. Think of a framework like a blueprint. You're building your app, but the framework dictates the design and the flow. Take React for instance. React is a JavaScript library used for building user interfaces, particularly for single-page applications. With React, your app is divided into components, small reusable pieces of code that define how your app should look and behave. Want to display some data? You create a component. Want to handle state? React provides hooks like useState for managing the state of your app. Here's the important distinction. React is a library, not a framework. It gives you the tools, but you're in control of how to structure your app. You're free to decide how components interact or how to handle state management. React doesn't impose a rigid architecture. It fits into your code, not the other way around. You can think of frameworks as opinionated libraries. So a framework out of the box will at least have a basic scaffold of the whole thing you're trying to build as soon as you can get it running. So things change when you combine React with tools like Next.js. Next.js adds features like a file structure, server-side rendering, routing, image optimization, and analytics out of the box, which turns your React app into a more fully-fledged experience as long as you follow the prescribed opinion on project configuration. That's when React starts feeling more like a framework because Next.js provides a structure and handles the heavy lifting for you. So in a React app, you're using a library, but as soon as you inject something like Next.js, you step into framework territory. So now that we've nailed down what libraries and frameworks are, how do we know which one to use? Libraries give you flexibility. You are in control. You pick and choose what features you need, and you decide the structure. But with that freedom comes responsibility. It means more decisions and more time spent organizing your project. Libraries are great for smaller projects or when you need specific functionality. Frameworks, on the other hand, speed up development because they come with a built-in structure. You don't have to worry as much about architecture because the framework provides it. But the trade-off is less flexibility. You need to work within the framework's rules and constraints. So frameworks really excel in large projects or when you need consistency across teams.